You know what day it is? I believe it's Friday. It is definitely Friday. Golly, that's a monster, ain't it? It is. Yeah, that's a 6S. They added a top drawer, so uh, stainless steel top, so it is. That thing comes up nearly chin high. Yeah, it's definitely a tall person box. Um, you're not gonna do a whole lot of work on the top of it unless um, maybe carburetor work is what somebody said this week, stuff like that, but that's okay. That's an interesting color, sort of a gold and silver. I like it, got a lot of compliments on it, so. What Joker is tall, ain't it? Stand it over here by it where everybody can see how tall it is. Oh, it's tall. There ain't no, well, I mean, I had to take a shelf out just to fit it there, so. Yep. Man. When I went to, when I went to pick it up, I did not have the shelf, the shelf out and ready to go, so uh, I had to take that down on the go, but. Yeah, it's a horse right there. Was that 31 deep? Yeah. yeah that it's... depth's where it makes a mm -hmm. toolbox. Well, that's the thing. You're gonna fit a lot more into the drawers. So you can have a lot more, especially your bigger drawer down here. You'll be able to put a lot more of your cases. I got it locked, but you'll be able to put a lot more of your cases and stuff. I don't even know. Have I got the keys up there for this? Yeah, that joker right there is tall. It's tall and ready to go. That's the thing. Um, I know a lot of mechanics that struggle to, to reach the top of that thing to back. Yeah. <laughs> So like we was telling people the other day, you can actually take and put your longer cases in here and not have them stacked on top. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they, most of the time these become a junk drawer just because that's where everything goes. It's a tall, deep drawer. I'm gonna throw everything I can in there, which you still got your power drawer, of course, but I like that when I open this drawer, 90% of the people have to move out of the way because it's still not open. So you have to stand to the side on the tool truck. Of course, in a shop, you wouldn't have to, but yeah. it gives you that full depth um, to have everything you can in drawers. It just maximizes your space. A good a good uh, tour organization uh, box there. You know, you, you put, put everything organized and stuff, and then with the depth and everything else, you have a lot of room. Yeah. Like any box, if you just start throwing stuff in there, then yeah, you could probably fill it up pretty quick, but. I've seen a lot That's of people true. post where they've took different things and organized their box. Of course, we offer on a um, we offer the toolbox grids to be able to go in there. I've seen a lot of other See, cool I ones out there. I think them would be super awesome that toolbox grid, but I think you'd have to have the patience of a daycare worker to put that <laughs> dang thing together. <laughs> like your wife could probably go in and set that thing up, no problem. For me or you, after about the fourth or fifth time, we try to put them little screws in. It didn't work. It'd probably be. A I would definitely get bottom. aggravated pretty quick, um, just because I. A lot of times, I may change it four or five times before I get it like I want it. Mm -hmm. But there's people out there with patience, and they do it, and they show pictures of it, and it looks oh, really they look cool. Great so when they're done, but man, I yeah. I don't know that I'd have. Uh, I don't know that I'd have the patience to do that. Right. Well, I finally got my hands on the blue impact. It finally came in. So we well, do let's look have at that thing up close. Cause, whew, ain't that cool? Oh yeah, it's you know it's a beautiful color, but it looks even better when you have that, and then you add one of these or two of those, mm -hmm. however you may have it. So if you add that, that course you know we got the blue ratchet too so you go ahead and throw that in there with it of course you're gonna need your wrenches organized so you throw that in there with it and then if you even want a blue pry bar you got it too let me throw that in there of course the screwdrivers are not in yet so which this one everybody's been touching it so it's a little dirty had to clean it up today uh, that wouldn't that look great in a box? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think that would look good in a toolbox. It's just a shame we had to fight big and claw for them to keep the blue stuff. It's such a it's such a pretty <laughs> color for sure. I mean, we even got blue gloves, so we can we can definitely hook you up. One of one of the best ratchets there is, and then the air impact and everything else too. 
Yeah. We, uh, Them air impacts are a beast right there. We got this impact in uh, middle of the week, and it's just come out today because I didn't want to show it off before I got here. So, because it would have been gone, like there would have been no, <laughs> been no way I would have had it when I got here. So. But I see we, you got some more of the. Uh, is that the speaker? Yeah, the speaker bottles. They are. They're the speaker bottles. Um, Man, that is the coolest thing. You know, I got one in for my wife. Yeah. You know, I love that thing. Well, it we, actually sounds really good too. To be yeah. A, a speaker, speaker only made gold, into yeah. a lid because <laughs> on a water bottle. Yeah. Well, and I brought those out for the the meetup last weekend. So they'll act, this will be the last day they're on the truck and I'm gonna pull them off. And you know, every year we do, around the Christmas, we do the Christmas balls up top, the mm -hmm. Busmo balls and stuff. So they're actually gonna go to that category. So people will get to win them. So they're, um, they're really neat. I have to start about now buying stuff or I won't have enough stuff to do it. So get the port number in there. Somebody will want it. MTCBT. B O T T L two. Now, of course, if somebody come on and said, "Hey, I need one of those," I would I would sell it to them. So, right. uh, I say they'll be off the truck. That don't mean they'll be off for sale, right? <laughs> yeah. It's more one of the out of sight, you know, off your mind kind of things. But well, they work good. I was really surprised with that. I was kind of worried about it because I was like, "Man, water bottles get beat up. They get thrown around. I ain't had no complaints." You know, normally that's something that somebody will complain about. They really real quick. sound good too. Yeah. Like that's what the surprising part was. I had people cool. buy those and the beanies a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we get a lot of people buying the beanies with the uh, Bluetooth in them. Yeah. I hope this next round that we do this year, I hope that they'll separate the light and the uh, Bluetooth. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. I sold a lot more of them when they didn't have the light on them too which i sold out of them this year so i can't complain but um just personal preference i'd, I'd rather separate them but if they yeah. don't i'll still order them but it's just one of that things so we also got the noco jump boxes those seem to be really popular right now absolutely um still got a giveaway for our customers on the nipix pliers so it's been an exciting week been a short week yeah. You know, it, it felt like it's lasted two weeks, but uh, we've had a lot of people out on vacation and stuff like that. So. Well, how did you think the meetup turned out? There's a lot of people. It went good. Um, got to see a bunch of, of uh, really good customers, um, I'm sure, to their Maco dealers because they come on here and, and talk. Uh, there's a lot of dealers out there that's lucky to have some of them for sure because mm -hmm. um, I know they come on here and they're really knowledgeable about the tools themselves. And they're excited about the new stuff, so yeah. It, you know, they're they're about every one of them that stepped on my truck. I consider a friend now, so it was nice mm. to see them it was uh, fun, again. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty cool, though. Yep, it was a good turnout. We had a lot of fun. The bands were good. The food was amazing. James Beard and that guy could open up a restaurant tomorrow. I'm gonna tell you, I didn't get to make it back up here because I could not pry my kids out of a swimming pool, but. Um, it was hard standing here and smelling that all day. It was good. Like I could tell every time he opened it up to uh, whether it be to base something or yeah. turn something, check on it, whatever he was doing over there, uh, there was several times that I, it would just come right in this door and it would just stay. And it's like, oh man. Yeah. Well, I was, I got one sandwich that night that pulled pork, you know, and I was like, gosh, so good. I was eating all of it. And I went back and got another one. And then, uh, I said, I'm done, I'm done. And my wife said, you sure don't want another one? I said, yeah, I'll take one more. <laughs> it was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, the, you know, the, the the fun thing about those is you hear a bunch of interesting stories. You get to hear about um, the tool trucks that get on, but you also get to hear the don'ts too. Yeah. Um, sometimes as dealers, we forget to um, cut our ears on and just listen. Just listen to what our customers don't want. Mm -hmm. So. Any dealers that's maybe watching this, remember, I know it's hard because I'm a dealer too, but just listen. Um, because you do get to hear some stories about what, things that they wish their dealer would do different. So, right, um, right. And I think that's important. You know, we always, we even do contests every once in a while to what can we do different or what mm -hmm. would you like to give away now or, you know, what, what would you like to do to win something? But a uh, bunch of interesting stories, um, but you really get to connect with a bunch of people. Uh, 
I mean, when you have people coming from Maryland and Utah Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania, and and, and, well, the Maryland and Pennsylvania people, they, they were actually here uh, all three years. So mm -hmm. um, that's pretty cool. I mean, at that point, you've got to feel like your friends at that point. So. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's a, and then there was a guy from uh, Alabama too. I'd actually sold a blue ratchet and uh, unfortunately it had broke during the year so he brought it back and we got it repaired i told him i said man look call me i'll send you a repair kit something you know right. i don't want you to be without this whole time so mm -hmm. but we got him fixed up too so well it was a lot of fun sure was yeah had a blast good music good yeah. food good times <laughs> well i guess we're gonna get in here and get some stuff done and it's Friday. It's Friday. It is Friday. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Just press it. You'll have a great weekend. See ya.